Okay, so now we're going to talk about dimensional analysis. Now before we talk about dimensional analysis, we need to talk about equivalent units. And basically, equivalent units are just a certain quantity that's expressed in two different units, and it describes the same amount. We can express these two equivalent units with an equal sign. So we can say that this quantity is actually equal to this quantity, even though they have different units and it doesn't look like it. So some of the examples here, for instance, you know, 12 eggs is equal to one dozen. And so that's something from our everyday lives, and we just automatically use those equivalent units, and we don't really even think about it. But this is an example of equivalent units. Here we have eggs for the unit, and here we have a dozen. All right, now another one maybe less familiar is a millimeter. And millimeters are really small compared to meters. So it takes 1,000 millimeters to make one meter. All right, so 1,000 millimeters is equal to one meter. We can say the same thing about pounds and kilograms. So one pound is equal to 0.454 kilograms. And then finally, one milliliter is actually equal to one cubic centimeter. All right, both of these are volume units. So this is one one thousandth of a liter, and this is a centimeter cubed. And those two quantities are equal just with different units. Now, in the health fields, a, a centimeter cubed is actually known as a cc. All right, so why do we care about equivalent units? Well, it's because we can use them as conversion factors. And so we can go from one unit to another unit to another unit, and on and on, really, converting from one unit to another. And so a couple of examples of conversion factors are, you know, 12 eggs is equal to one dozen. All right, so here we have 12 eggs on top, 12 eggs, is equal to one dozen. See how this, so they're equal quantities, two different units, one on top of the other. We can also write it the other way. So one dozen is equal to 12 eggs. We can do the same thing with pounds and kilograms. And so here we have kilograms on the top, 0.454 kilograms is equal to one pound, or the other way around. So those are examples of conversion factors. All right, so now let's put this together and use a conversion factor to convert from eggs to dozens. Okay, so our example problem here is a sample of eggs contains 189 eggs. And we want to know how many dozen eggs are in the sample. So we're going to have the same amount of eggs at the end. We're just going to go from numbers of eggs to numbers of dozens of eggs, or how many dozens of eggs are in that sample. All right, so again, using our equality here, all right, 12 eggs is equal to one dozen. We're going to write two different conversion factors, okay? Now, when we want to actually do the math and convert, I always like to start by writing the number that was given in the problem. So I always just start by writing that down, all right? So in this case, it's 189 eggs. So now we're going to figure out how to convert that into dozens using one of our conversion factors. Okay, so here we have, here's our 189 eggs that we wrote down, all right? And now we chose a conversion factor to use, and the conversion factor that we chose was the one that has one dozen on top and 12 eggs on the bottom. So why did we choose that one? Well, if we do, so this is basically 189 divided by one, really. I mean, we, can, we don't see the one because we never write it, okay? And so, eggs is, in the top, is on the top of this fraction, eggs is on the bottom of this one. So eggs divided by eggs is just equal to one. All right, so this way we can get rid of these two, these two eggs units. All right, so then now we're left with just dozens. See, that, see how that's the only unit that isn't canceled out? All right, so now on the next slide, we'll show how to do the math. So we're gonna figure out how, what we do with that to actually get a number in front of our dozen unit. Okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to multiply by any number on the top and divide by any number on the bottom, okay? So 189 times 1 still just gives us 189, all right? But I'm just, I just want you to see that's what we're doing. So 189 times 1, and then we're going to divide that number by 12, okay? So 189 times 1, because it's on top, divided by 12, because it's on the bottom, and we get 15.75 dozen. 
All right. So now let's go ahead and figure out what we need to do for sig figs. So we have 189 eggs. All right. So that's three sig figs. And so when we go to dozens, we want to end up with three sig figs. We have 15.75, so we need to round. And I am going to round this number up since this is a five. All right, so if this is a five, six, seven, eight, nine, then we're going to round this number up. All right, so we're going to end up with 15.8 dozen. All right, so now you try one. So pause the presentation and try this problem. A certain human weighs 195 pounds, and you want to convert that weight into kilograms. Okay, so going back to the beginning of the presentation, grabbing this conversion factor, one pound is equal to 0.454 kilograms. I'm going to write two conversion factors here. All right, and we're going to start by just writing down the number that we want to convert. In that case, it's 195 pounds. Now, let's go look at these conversion factors. Which one do we want? So we want the one with pounds on the bottom. So we're going to use this one on the next slide. All right, so using the conversion factor we identified, we have 195 pounds divided by pounds over here. Okay, so now we just end up with kilograms. And same thing. Multiply by any number on the top of that fraction, divide by any number on the bottom. Okay? All right, so 195 times 0.454. Okay, then press equal, divided by 1. You're just going to get the same number. All right, that's one way to do it. You could also do it in the order I have it down here, because it doesn't matter, because we're doing multiplication and division. So 195 divided by 1 times 0.454 gives us 88.53 kilograms, all right? And again, let's go up here and look at our number, 195 pounds, okay? That's three sig figs, so let's go ahead and round this guy to three sig figs. This three is less than five, so we're just going to drop it off and end up with 88.5 kilograms.